Morjesta, hei hyvää päivää, also welcome to Rotas Review. Uh, as you can guess, today's band comes from Finland, uh, actually the eastern part of it, near Russian border, from a city of uh, Lappenranta. Um, today's band uh, isn't a typical release we have here in Rauta. It's not dead metal, it's not black metal, it's not trash metal. You can guess it. It's grindcore with punk, with hardcore, and sure, some death metal elements as well. Um, this one's called Death Toll ADK, and their album called uh, Step Down. More like a mini CD, even though this have, has these 17 tracks here, it's barely 15 minutes released. But before we talk more about the music, let's take a look how this album actually looks like. So as you can see, here is a sort of prison environment with kind of a, a violent situation going on. I don't know the exact details, obviously, what is going on, but it's grim for sure. It's violent, of course. At the back, just plain black. Uh, these lyrics are in very clear font. The lyrics are also short, extremely short one might add, so it's not like you need an hour to just read them through. Take a look at this blame the victim. Yes, here they are, counting seconds to victim blaming. And here is also the necessary information regarding the band and the recording information. So. Very basic stuff here, and uh, this is the CD, nothing special here, and uh, the logo of the band. Now, um, Death Hall 80K isn't the type of grindcore band which, you know, sings about uh, intestines or surgical procedures or violence, at least. In the terms of what death metal so often is all about, you know, murders and that kind of stuff. Uh, this one is actually one of the bands that are, you know, um, kind of a, I don't know if political is the right word, but kind of band that is actually kind of related to things in society. Um, maybe more on the left side than on the center, definitely not a right-wing band. Um, so I guess this is a kind of a typical grindcore band in the sense of what this uh, genre is supposed to be. Um, you know, having opinions and not being afraid, you know, to sing about those topics about, you know, mankind, society, politics, violence, all kinds of stuff, police, brutality, I don't know, that kind of topics anyway. Uh, the music is pretty much what grindcore is all about. It's very fast-paced, very, very aggressive, uh, very brutal, uh, very chaotic, and uh, these all, all these elements kind of, you know, blend in with each other. So while there is certain death metal sense vibes, you know, in the riffs and these growling vocals, it is kind of a punkish. And then again, it's also kind of a hardcore-ish. So kind of a typical grindcore album, if you get my meaning. Now, I gotta give points to this band for being kind of a true to itself. There's nothing that kind of doesn't belong here in the music. That is, it's pure grindcore and it's, you know, like I said, it's so chaotic and violent that it's just kind of a really extreme stuff. So if you know your genre, then this is pretty much the stuff you are getting. Then again, if you are, let's say, allergic to any sort of grind, not to mention grindcore, uh, then this is probably not for you. And um, the thing is that this kind of uh, music is really straightforward with their style. Be it about the message, 
and um, the music and all that stuff it gets right to the point and there is no second guessing that like what this band is all about for example uh, let's take a look you can see these uh, crush nazis geeky nazis kind of um, logo here so you can pretty much uh, figure out what this band is all about when you just see the covers and the back covers and you basically don't even need to go through the lyrics to figure out whether or not it is your cup of tea in that sense um, production is a uh, somewhat messy in my opinion um, and because i'm not a studio magician uh, i don't know what what would solve the, their problem because sometimes it just gets too mushy sometimes these instruments you know all these you know um, elements just get like way too chaotic and the fast paced drumming kind of is a little bit too much on the foreground in order to you know guitars and all that stuff to kind of be totally heard but it's not a big issue and basically it's the stuff that if, if you are familiar with the genre and you like it then i don't think a step down will be a disappointment so for genre fans I think this is a plus plus release very much but those of us who are more maybe in the death metal and not so much on the grindcore side this might be a little bit of disappointment I think it's a fairly good album and it's kind of a safe bet in the genre but those that are not exactly the main target group a uh, little bit of pre-listening might be a thing to do before you go to your local record store or order the album online but given these facts i think step down is a pretty decent album and if genre is your thing go ahead and listen to it already thank you for watching this review this is all from me more stuff to coming to you so until that stay brutal stay metal